Can you see that? I am creating today a page with acrylics for a change. I'm not using sprays, I'm not using magicals, just acrylics. I hope you're gonna stay and create with me. It's Asha Marke here, Lemon Creation. Welcome to my channel. It's a big day for me today because I'm using acrylics. You know me, I'm usually using Lindy's Gang products, but I want to change a little and I want to uh, show you different methods of applying colors, different colors, uh, different uh, techniques. Uh, I'm not, uh, of course, expert on that and you'll see me, uh, you know, struggling a little bit uh, here and there throughout the whole process, but at the end, uh, I did what I wanted to do and that's what uh, it's good and I learned a few, <laughs> few things along the way. So I'm adding two different colors uh, on both uh, edges of the um, brayer and I know those colors go well together so that's why I did it because I knew that if I touch them together they're gonna give me a green. So I made like that this uh, kind of rainbowy effect and uh, I wanted to add more texture so I place this uh, stencil from the crafter workshop and I wanted to clean my brayer first of all because there was still some paint on it uh, thinking that at the same time I'm gonna get this beautiful um, stencil printed onto the page which did not happen and now with the hindsight I know why because the stencil is uh, uh, of course thicker and the brayer doesn't go through <laughs> because it's not a brush if I use the brush it would have worked uh, but that's the thing. I learned one thing uh, doing this process and that's super great. So now I'm using a baby wipe. Of course you can use a damp cloth or a little bit of a sponge. And like that you can remove um, a little bit more of the paint and you're gonna get the uh, stencil printed onto the paper. And there is one more thing which didn't work as I planned. Mm, uh, and um, But firstly I'm showing you that I'm adding a little bit of paint uh, from my um, palette and I wanted to do edges which are irregular because with the prayer I got quite a regular um, edges and I wanted to change that and now you see what's happened. I actually torn a little bit of paper um, uh, out or apart and the reason for that is that because I didn't treat the paper with gesso so I place it straight on the paper. It's kind of mixed media paper. It's not even watercolor. Maybe watercolor will behave better. I have no idea, but watercolor is for water colors, <laughs> not really for acrylics. So I have no idea really how that would work. This is something I, I will probably check at some point. But uh, I cover that quickly with a little bit more of the paint. And now you can see me. I am just kind of cleaning the stencil with the baby wipe making the um, making the the whole um, rainbow I made before a little bit more distressed and the edges a little bit more uneven uh, I added a little bit of course of um, splatter mostly because I really don't like to um, leave the paint uh, you know if I have a lot of leftovers uh, I usually use them on another project but that's not always the case so in this case i added a little bit also of blue splatter because as you can see the blue is almost um, not really that visible there is a lot of yellow there is uh, some green and blue is just somewhere there um, at the top of the page and after everything is dry and acrylic is dry quite fast uh, i am adding of course uh, stamping with a few of the stamps, with pimples, with my stamp if I remember correctly and of course for all I am using archival black ink because it does not run, it's water resistant. Uh, once again thank you so much uh, to all of you for supporting me, leaving the thumbs up, the comments, I really really enjoy reading your comments and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like what I do, uh, please do so. Uh, in the description box below I'll give you some affiliate links uh, so if you can use them that's not at any cost to you uh, I get a tiny bit of the commission there is also a discount for Lindy's Gang if you use um, uh, the code which is uh, left there um, at the bottom together with my link so this is something to think about if you want to do some shopping at Lindy's 
and of course I'm gonna leave you a, also um, a link to my shop it's a really tiny tiny shop but I hope to have uh, more stamps and stencils quite soon so uh, I will be very happy if you at least check it out it's been a long time already since I haven't really worked professionally and because I'm a stay, stay at home mom and um, I, when I came here to France I haven't spoken uh, any French so that also didn't help in my job research and so this shop is my way to, uh, to participate a little, <laughs> to earn a little bit of money and I hope I'm gonna be proud of it and uh, it's my dream. Uh, the red stamps you're seeing me using right now, they are stamps designed by Didi Catron. Uh, they are from Viva Las Vegas stamps. I'm not sure if they are still uh, there or if they've been discontinued, uh, but I really like them. Uh, she is doing a lot of beautiful mark makings and her stamps are just perfect for background, um, mostly for background, but not only. And I'm adding a little bit of uh, Rabons from Tim Holtz. Even though they're gonna be hardly visible with all the black <laughs> there is on the page, but I really also love uh, Arabons. And those are, uh, they're gonna fit the page, I think, quite nicely. Mm, you know, the focal point at least. Of course, you cannot use uh, Arabons if there is a lot of paint. So acrylics are quite thick. You have to always check when you are placing the Arabons because if you place them in, onto acrylics, which is uh, quite thick, uh, it may come off the part of the acrylic or uh, just the transfer won't work. Uh, that's why I kind of do it on the edges when I see when there is not that much of the thickness on the page and actually they work quite fine. So this is my bad boy, uh, the focal point, uh, Batman. I absolutely love it. He's so cute with the wings and the, uh, how you call it, the ears. And I fall in love with this image. Uh, I cut it out. I found it on the internet. It's uh, free for commercial use, uh, but I don't use it for commercial use. <laughs> I'm just doing the page, but it looks so nice. Uh, I'm actually starting to draw also. Uh, some of the images like that and maybe I'll put them at some point in my shop I'm not sure we'll see I'm gluing it uh, only in the you know the middle part of the body because uh, first of all I printed on the normal print uh, paper so it's not very sturdy and I don't want to put glue all over so it's gonna be visible if I do that and anyway I wanted the wings to be a little you know like flying uh, I'm gonna use the sentence from my super messy words also and for that I will use, this is just super thing, um, my Nuvo uh, glue which is really nice. I'm thinking about making a video of all the things I am super happy about uh, and all the things I am disappointed with. Uh, uh, so like that you can also check. And you've seen me, I just put a tiny bit of glue dots uh, at the top of the wings so they will, uh, because they were sticking way too much and I was afraid that if I just turn the pages um, I may uh, damage them. But it just was tiny, tiny point of glue uh, on the top of the wings. That's all I've done and a little bit of uh, blacking the edges of the paper. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I try, I will try really hard to actually use more of the, uh, of the, how do you call it, acrylics. I'm waiting for a nice parcel from Paper Up, see with my chalk acrylics. So I'll do unboxing and uh, I'll show you how to work with those also. I hope you enjoy that and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye bye.